Dilly and the body snatcher right here. It's a champ. Big up the sports and icon. Subscribe. Otherwise, I might pay you guys a visit. You all remember when I interviewed Dillian White for the second time back in on the 20th of December and we're talking about potential next opponents which inevitably turned out to be Lucas Brown and a number of names were mentioned and I threw the name Alexander Povetkin at him and guess what he's done? Right after Povetkin stopped David Price in round number five in a pretty good fight where Price gets dropped in round number three and Povetkin gets almost stopped in round number three himself, but ultimately stops Price in round number five. Dillian White gets on the mic next to Eddie Hearn and says he wants Alexander Povetkin next. With the words, if you've got a jab, you beat Povetkin all day. So clearly he's not just going to sit around and wait for chicken legs Wilder, because clearly Wilder is just scared to death of Dillian White. We all know this one. And we've known it for quite some time now. So it's good that he's not just going to sit around and wait for him because he could be waiting for a very long time and he's aiming for the top guns. And who better than the WBA mandatory challenger and WBO number one contender, Alexander Povetkin. So not only if he was to fight Povetkin next, which I believe in the interview, I think he said, and I might be wrong, I think he said that Povetkin has agreed to do it. But he may have just said that Eddie Hearn has agreed to speak up. I'm not too sure. But if he does, he would be ranked number one WBC, number one WBO, number one WBA. And then Wilder and his fangirls can no longer say, what's Dillian White done to deserve a shot at Deontay Wilder, even though he deserves a shot right now anyway. But you know how they are. But that's a fight I'm really up for. And I know you guys would be too. So click that thumbs up. Drop yourself some comments exactly what you think about Dillian White versus Alexander Povetkin for June and hopefully at the O2. That's got to be a sellout, hasn't it? Drop your thoughts below, click that thumbs up and subscribe. Catch you on the next video.